Hi, rubbing with Oxy Dry, and uh, got a bit of a challenge here. <laughs> I actually cleaned the couch and uh, that chair, and that one, and uh, that one already. And uh, obviously, I vacuumed. Took my time. It was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, have you any idea what those black st stains are under the chair there? Uh, you've been spelling something, or? It's, um, it's from the mechanism. Oh, it's the, oh, it is the, uh, okay. The the yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's, uh, coming off the hinges. That can definitely be a problem, so we're gonna try the secret weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And actually, usually, I can get this out, but let's see what happens. Boy, that is really bad, isn't it? Anyway, I did boost. I've got my uh, Nanomax two ounces per gallon, but uh, we got a lot of organic stains all over the place. So I um, put in four ounces of uh, Revive Rocket, and I'm and I've got a hog's hair fiber pad. I put a, a new one on, so it's got a little more bite when it's brand new. This is one of those situations where. Um, I know, absolutely know, that the uh, rotary will clean it's su far superior to uh, an OP on these situations. It just does. Um, hello, look at that. Because it just bites into the carpet. It just really does an incredible job. And one of the things that makes it work so well is because it's doing a continuous motion on the carpet. And it just uh, reaches down and pulls the soil off the carpet fiber in a continuous motion instead of just wiggling the yarn back and forth. Now there's it looks like some burns or something there. Hmm. There's some uh, real uh, kind of dents in the carpet there. That is coming out phenomenally well as usual so yeah you can see that the, uh, the actual the motion of the the scrubbing action is going like this and pulls the iron but you see I'm pulling it this way on this side and then as I go over it it's going to go that way as this side goes over the, the that area and if I step back and go forward and this part the back is going that way the front is going that way so I'm able to get at the yarn 360 degrees it's not just doing a circular motion on the spot it's coming at the carpet fiber from every uh, direction obviously something that some have a difficult time understanding but uh, if you really think about it it all makes sense after all it is a circle has 360 degrees and uh, that's what I'm cleaning with a 360 degree circle but uh, you can see this carpet is actually, I was, I got to tell you, I was uh, a little bit apprehensive when I saw it. <laughs> but again, it just always amazes me how well this works. Such a simple and effective, and this is a pretty heavy um, type uh, Berber, you can see. This is a olefin, and this is a carpet fiber that uh, um, an LP would have a real difficult time on because it is such a heavy loop it would tend to jump and chatter it would uh, not be so fun at all <laughs> now I did clean under this chair and the couch already in case you're wondering Entered right into the fiber. <laughs> oh, by the way, my secret. Not that, this one. That's Windex. 
it does work exceptionally well on the uh, the stains that come off of the hinges of these chairs and things like that. Now I use my E600 extractor on this and it's dry the couch and it's dry already. And there was a lot of cat hair on there. So, let's head back over these stains and uh, see what happens. Sure, those marks are there. They're actually indented into the into the yarn. Hmm. We'll try something else in a minute. So you just take your time. Let the uh, machine do the work. Apply this this solution. I'm just applying enough to clean it, not over wetting it. Over wetting will lead to wicking on a carpet like this. No, I haven't, by the way, I haven't pre-sprayed anything here. Oh, that's not true. Other than just over there, I did a little bit underneath where the chair was sitting. That's the only place I put any pre-spray. And, of course, I'm just, that means I'm just shower feeling. Now, why do I do that? Um, because, actually, I know I'm going to do at least two steps on this. So this is actually the application of my, you could say this is like applying my pre-spray and scrubbing it in. So I'm going to have all the dwell time I need by the time I actually get to the extraction step. chair and even the plastic feet sometimes will bleed out uh, transfer out onto the carpet fiber we're seeing that more and more now aren't we so we'll leave that sit for a bit and then we'll go back to that So 
the big nasty stains over here. I mean, look at the size of that stain. Wow. Not sure what's going on here. I'm applying it a little bit heavier here, by the way. Heavier than I normally would, but... Uh, I'm wondering... if that's pee. that to a certain extent anyway. Um, it looks like it's coming out okay so far. pad is actually reaching out and touching the uh, <clears throat> the wall along there so we're almost touching it so let's go and uh, take a look under this chair again Uh, marked the carpet up there somehow. I'll try some VDS before I'm done, but I think we might have a permanent stain here. Whatever it is. the kitty cat is underneath the bed here somewhere. Probably not a happy cat right now. <laughs> I usually don't like it when I come in with my machine.
can't fit here, I don't think. I'll have to shift the bed a little bit. Hmm. What I'd really like to do is lift this thing. Actually, this is what I'll do. I'll move it instead. Probably not very... Oh, it's not very light. Uh, heavy, I mean. And we'll just uh, lift this up. was an XL that prepared for me. <laughs> I was moving a fair amount of stuff. There was all kinds of junk like you would believe underneath the chair and underneath the couch. Well, I, I moved it. I did move uh, the couch to clean up properly. Oh, there we go. Good. Actually looking pretty good over there. Hmm. This is um, a uh, subsidized housing place. I don't usually get into these. Not usually in my market, but... Uh, I guess the uh, family members paying for this. They wanted a proper cleaning job. So uh, that's why I'm here. Okay, this looks like working pretty good. Try the VDS. Hmm. Any idea what the yellowing staining was going on over there? Looked like a big spill of something over here. Any idea what caused that? Oh no, I did notice that the other day though. Hmm. I have no idea. It's not the kitty cat, is it? I wouldn't think so. No, because I I'm not really smelling anything. That's why I not wasn't this one. He, he wouldn't do that. No. Okay, well, I, I'm not really smelling anything, so I, I was, I thought that might be it, but then I didn't smell, usually you'd smell it, when, especially when you get it wet, and I don't smell yeah, it, so, yeah. so that's good, whatever it is, it looks like it's coming out okay, so. Mm, that's good. Yeah, I just got some weird little marks underneath where the chair is sitting, almost looks like the footprint, the feet of the chair had been transferring onto the carpet, which is unusual, but sometimes the plastic feet they have on them now will actually be, dissolve over time and transfer onto the carpet, believe it or not. So you th and, and you can't stop it from happening. Mm -hmm. I've seen it a few times now. I mean, you're going to be putting the chair back here anyway, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh, it's moving a little bit. A little bit, not a lot, but there's some movement here. This is Velotopter, I saw in case you're wondering. Good stuff to have around for certain things. Well, the chair's going to go back on top of here anyway. And that appears to be, oh, that's a burn. There's burns here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're, we've done what we can with that. Okay, we'll do a switch. Good morning, buddy. They're going to rip everything out anyway. What was that? When I move out of here. Oh, they tear, take it all out? Yeah, oh. we're going to put in uh, laminate. Oh. 
usually they put in uh, vinyl laminate uh, uh, luxury vinyl planking that's the thing they do now yeah. that's good stuff and we clean that too actually <laughs> that's the new thing eh? all that uh, that's what they like to put on in on in these places now This is actually looking really quite decent. It's not going to be a perfect looking carpet because it's really been, uh, well, it hasn't been taken care of at all actually. Lots of staining, but it looks like pretty much all the staining is coming out. There's just some weird marks here, like, I don't know what those things are, but. Anyway, the chair is going to go back there. This yellow staining has come out of here. Kind of odd. Anyway. too vague looking to be urine really uh, it did a really sort of a it just looked like stuff been spilled there hmm. yeah, it's hard to say sometimes you don't want to know <laughs> okay we're gonna plunk that there and apparently we want to put that there I was told okay little burns on this carpet too so that doesn't help This was actually sitting over here <laughs> before. Yeah, that I did earlier, and that's dry, bone dry. That 
it's almost dry. When I got here, this carpet was in dire need of a really good vacuuming, I can tell you. Even though there was a vacuum in here that was looked like they had used, because it was almost full, but... Anyway, I gave it a good vacuuming. Probably filled by vacuum. <laughs> <coughs> going to go up to, uh, apparently going up to 28 degrees today, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius. Huh. And there's no air on in, it, on in here right now, and it's a little bit muggy. <laughs> it's not terrible, but I would rather have air. Okay, we'll go in here. <coughs> piece of cake <laughs> I get a kick out of those guys that say you can't do edges with a rotary um, you can do edges exceptionally well with a rotary especially when I, when I want to really get an edge I can put my I got a, my brush on and it flares out and the bristles will literally go right along the baseboard fantastic when doing uh, um, filtration staining around the edge really works well. <coughs> or even the pad that's on here right now, you can see it actually reaches out and touches the wall. More misinformation. More uh, uh, misleading statements. Some people just won't learn, won't admit they're wrong. I see a little bit of something there, maybe. Hey, we're looking pretty darn good here. Just have to work my way out the door. Oop. Note to self, don't do that.
Yep, right along the wall. Not a problem. Piece of cake. Okay. Alright. So, pretty much done. So, I'll let you go. Thank you for watching and have a good day.